Today in SPN, we will be talking about what's going to happen in the month of May. And I will also be discussing about my life, something different from for this last episode. SPN starts now. Good morning, Wolfpack. My name is Diego Peraza, and my name is Luca Arcopas, and welcome back to Stay Tune for the last episode of SBN. This is to the seniors of this school. Um, a reminder that uh, senior prom is coming out uh, this month, so I hope you're ready with the with your dresses and stuff like that. And yeah, it's going to be a fun night. I can guarantee you that. And for one last year, let's send it off to my brother Jake with your sports. Yep. Good morning, Wattpack. This is Jake with your sports for today. A Dolphins quarterback, Josh Rosen, became new to the team facilities, but he won't find the starting quarterback job held to him on a platter, to be clear. Coach Brian Flores explained about Josh and said he needs to compete for any role when he gets there, but it's a fresh start for Rosen after the Cardinals draft his replacement, Kyler Murray, first overall Thursday. So, now signing off one more time this year. Thank you, Wolfpack. This is Jake reporting for SPN. Many had considered him to be the greatest shooter to ever live, but this was something that a 6 foot 3 inch guard from the suburbs of North Carolina has been working on his whole life. Stephen Curry began his success at an early age when he took the time to shoot some shots with his father Dale before his dad's NBA games. Even then, he was destined for success. In high school, Curry was a sensation as he led his team to victory as one of the youngest people on the floor. His tenacious defense and his will to score showed signs that he was in the midst of becoming something special. Despite this, few schools recruited him to play in college with the exceptions of his hometown team, Davidson. At Davidson, Curry became a collegiate star. This eventually attracted the likes of many NBA's teams. With the seventh pick in the 2009 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Stephen Curry from Davidson College. Curry in his eight NBA season has become one of the more decorated athletes in league history. His two MVPs, his team record setting seasons, and two NBA championships has set him apart from the pack. The question is, will Curry ever be considered the greatest of all time? This is Jose Gaskey reporting for SPN, and today I am wishing you all a great summer. Anyways, let's have some fun. Yeah!
We've passed on all we know. A thousand generations live in you now. Hey, park there. I don't know. I want to find a spot closer to the door. But this is your fight. Why? Because if we park far away, then we might have to walk too far and I could get sweaty. And I would not meet Oprah with pick the stick. Just park the car oh, on would you like to hear me? Hello, here's Avaspian. I would like to talk to you about a movie that will be coming out, which is Star Wars Episode 9, Rise of Skywalker. Now, I know it won't be a while until it comes out. I just felt it was a nice topic to talk about. Now, what happens in this episode that is that it is the continuation from Episode 8 where Luke Skywalker had been discovered and he was helping Rey how to use the force and teaching her about how it needs to be utilized properly. Now what happens is that Rey is still learning how to truly use the force and see how powerful it truly is, but she must first help bring balance to it, which means facing off Kylo Ren once more. Will Rey be able to defeat him? We will find out when the movie comes out on December 20th, 2019. Also, before I go, sadly, this is the last episode for SPN. And I, like all good things, I must come to an end. See you viewers next year. Finally, that is all I had to say. Signing off for SPN. Enjoy the Paniago. I'll be talking about Jumanji 3. The director of this movie is Jake Castan. This movie is a sequel of the 2017 Jumanji movie. The main characters in this movie are Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, and Madison Isman. This, the movie release date is December 13, 2019. I want to see this movie signing off for SPN. This is Brian Amador with your movie news. September 10th, 2002, a young mind was born in Aventura Hospital. That young creative mind was me, Luke Arcobus. But I was delivered early, so I had to be separated from my mother for a week to make sure I survive. I was born with asthma and was raised in a five-floor apartment in Sunny Isles Beach. At the age of two, I suffered a severe asthma attack and was sent to the hospital. It was the only time in my life where I truly felt I was going to die. During my primitive years, I showed interest quickly in animals, and even storytelling, which would eventually form the loop to who people regard me as today. Hamburger. We moved to Kendall where I attended Kenwood Elementary School, but this time, my behavior was destructive. I was considered a troublemaker. It felt like I had no control of my temper tantrums, and it affected my life in a negative way. But I wasn't really a bad person. I didn't threaten to hurt anyone. It's just that I couldn't control my anger. I was a passionate child back then. I wanted to do so much in such a young age. They said I had no future. I was blessed they with said having a great I teacher. Would brought to she allowed me to have the more huge teddy bear room. that was in a room. But, but as we all know, that isn't true. In third grade, me and my brother created a different comic book series. One was called Godzilla and Kirby. It was basically misadventures of Godzilla and Kirby, and this guy. Next was the entertainment show. It was Drake and Josh, but with Sonic and Poe. Fourth grade, however, I regard as my dark age. My temper only grew worse, and my school didn't even bother to help. In fact, they made the whole situation worse. My principal threatened me, my family, and also my brother. They said I had no future. They said that I would grow up to be nothing more than a criminal. But as we all know, that isn't true. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Luckily, my mother dropped me and my brother from Kenwood and switched schools to High Point Academy, where I was given a second chance. After my eighth grade graduation, Fernandez asked me if I wanted to be part of SPN. I gave a responsive yes to his question. The year is almost over and I have a trip to New Jersey and Greece ahead of me. 
Through these 16 years of being alive, I have learned something. That if you can endure the tragedies and troubles in your life, then you will be rewarded with miracles. I went from a raging brat who was thought to have no future to a National Honor Society student and talented SBN broadcaster of the year. I can't imagine a timeline where I never joined SBN, where I never met Dustin, where I never left Kenwood, where I never made comics, where my parents are still together, or where I was born at the right time. But, but the past should be something to learn from. But I don't want to wish for my past to change. I'm living a great life, and how can I ask for more? Thank you to everyone that was a part of my life, and everyone who was a part of the SBN crew. This is Luke Arcobus reporting for SBN one last time, but I'll be back. Well, that's all the news we have for today and for this year, and we hope to see you guys on the next SBN episode. We'll see you in August.